crazy, complete different question for you here. Uh, do you think the Washington Redskins being forced to change their names was the right move? So that one's tricky too. So because now you have that name that's over the top offensive. There is no other meaning for uh, that word mm-hmm. other than to be derisive, right? Then you've got the Indians, and you say, well, their mascot's terrible, but the name itself is not necessarily offensive. Then you got the Chiefs, a perfectly acceptable name. There's nothing wrong with it. Seminoles is actually uh, an ode to the particular tribe in the area that's actually good. It's almost yeah. complimentary. So in the case of Washington, it had no other meaning at all. It was obviously derisive. Uh, and there, So I would say yes, change so, it in that case. So to changing it to commanders. To uh, whatever it is, it is yeah, a commander's yeah, commander. Commander. I don't, I don't, correct, I, correct. I, I had to ask you guys this. Yes. I had no clue. So let me ask you this. So uh, to to an Armenian, the Young Turks may be offensive. Would you change your name? Yeah, so Young Turks uh, means young rebels. That's the colloquial use in the English language. You could actually look it up in the dictionary. Sure. And for us, it was young progressives challenging the established system. I mean, that is a textbook definition of what we are, quite literally. But I get that it is offensive to Armenian people. I get that, and so, uh, and I and I feel terrible about that, especially because I was wrong about the Armenian genocide. So when I and was, you talked about that, yes, respect right. to the fact that you did that. Yeah, yeah. I think Anna asked you the question and you addressed it. Yeah, yeah. and so am I saying her name right? Anna, right? Yeah, Anna, yeah. yeah. Uh, so when I was growing up, I grew up with honestly Turkish propaganda, right? And so we all get propaganda. You guys talk about the education system. You know what is it telling people? Yeah. I remember we they taught this absurd thing that I didn't realize it was absurd because I was a kid, right? They said Turks had never lost the war except World War One. Now World War One was a little hard to deny, right? So, but I believe that. And then I remember as a grown up, I remember reading about how the Ottomans had lost the battle, and I was like, no, no, no the Turks never. Oh my God, I can't believe I believed that all these years because they implanted it in my head, right. right? And of course, that's not true. The Turks have lost. Tons of battles and wars, right? And one of the things I was taught was that the genocide didn't happen. Well, of course it happened. The Serbanisa is considered a genocide, and 8,000 people died there, right? In the Armenian genocide, way more than that, a mm-hmm. lot more than that, that died. And they didn't target Norwegians, they targeted Armenians. So was it based on uh, that ethnicity, race? Clearly it was, and, and they were targeted. So uh, I... As I've changed a lot of positions based on facts, I changed my position on that based on facts, and I feel terrible that I had that earlier position, and I've been super clear about it. Yeah, the, the fact that you change it, that's respect to you for doing that. You know, it was one and a half million Armenians, give or take, two to 300,000 Assyrians. I want to say 500,000 Greeks. When you, you read about the genocide, it's a lot of Armenians, but there's also Syrians and Greeks part of that as well. But my my uh, respond back to your first question would be not my first question would be I don't think Redskins need to change their name just like you don't need to change your name mm-hmm. if your name is Young Turks and you offend a guy like me who's Armenian and Assyrian and I don't like it I don't have to like it but I don't have to say let's make sure he changes his name it's mm-hmm. your name and, I, and by the way there is an Armenian community that's you know you look at the American Indian community what is the size of that what is the Armenian size community what is the Assyrian community what is the Greek community some people may say dude that's offensive I get what you're saying it's a young progressive but it's the young Turks so I, I think the, the the part where sometimes you know we play this change your name I'm offended I'm this I'm that I am offended but I don't expect you to change it I expect you to stay with the name that you created. That's the whole thing I'm thinking about with the Redskins thing. Anyways, that was one thing I, a friend of mine brought it up. I said, let me have, talk to Jenk about it and see what it is. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.